Hey everyone, welcome to another video. My name is Sander and today I have an exciting update about our busiest camping season to date. So far we are visiting at least 17 different provincial parks. And we still have some trips to book as well. So if you have any suggestions about the parks we should book next, definitely leave them in the description below. Stick around for the list of provincial parks. In addition, if you are a trailer newbie, if you're looking for some trailer upgrades, there are some videos coming up about all of that. So if you're interested in that as well, definitely like and subscribe to see more about that. But let's Let's jump right into the list of provincial parks we're going to visit this year. Number one, and we already visited this provincial park, is Killarney Provincial Park. We went in early spring, uh, we had a rooftop accommodation totally new to us, and we explored the Killarney area and hiked the crack. So if you would like to see more about that, either the rooftop accommodation, Killarney, the crack, or anything in the area, definitely check out our video here. Next we are heading to Sandbanks Provincial Park. Um, we are heading there early May, so it will be too cold to swim, but a common misconception is that Sandbanks is all about the beaches. And don't get me wrong, the beaches are, are beautiful, but there is much more to do as well. So whether you're there in midsummer or May, there's always lots to do. So next we're heading to Algonquin Provincial Park. We will be staying at Canis Bay. Algonquin, of course, is known for its many trails, wildlife, the possibility of seeing a moose, mountain biking and kayaking. Algonquin is simply a paddler's paradise and I'm definitely looking forward to exploring the different lakes in Algonquin. Next park we're going to visit is Arrowhead Provincial Park. As of now um, there is no el electricity on most of the sites at Arrowhead, even if you booked an electric site, the electricity may not be on by the time you get there. Um, we are installing solar panels so if we have to boondock it, so be it. Arrowhead is just a beautiful park. Next we're visiting Emily Provincial Park. It's a local park to us. Been there several times, never made a video about it, but uh, this year we are 100% making a video about the park. Next we're starting our trip to go around Algonquin Provincial Park with the first stop being Bonnichere Provincial Park. Bonnichere is just a beautiful park, lots to do. While we're there, we will be visiting Foy Provincial Park. Foy is really just a day trip destination, but it's very close to Bonnichere. So if you had Bonnichere, go check it out. Next in our trip, we are visiting Driftwood Provincial Park. Never been. Uh, we actually have a waterfront site there. It's non-electric, uh, but definitely looking forward to the views and having a waterfront site. From there on, we are going to the north part of Algonquin. So we are visiting Kiosk Lake. We do have a waterfront side. And while we're there, we will also be visiting Samuel de Champlain. Hopefully get some tubing in. Uh, but we'll see uh, how high or low the river is at that point in time. And then we're ending our North Algonquin trip at uh, Restool Provincial Park. Restool is just a gem in my opinion. It's a beautiful park. Lots to do. Mountain biking trails. Uh, if you have to do one trail, definitely do the Fire Tower Trail. It's just... Very beautiful there. Next we are visiting Bass Lake uh, in Aurelia. Never been, uh, so it's the first time for us. So we will be uh, checking that out. From there on we are looking at a little bit of a longer trip. And we're going to visit Murphy's Point and Charleston Lake. Both of them net new parks for us. Uh, never been, uh, but exciting to check it out. Then we're stopping at Lake St. Peter Provincial Park. Uh, Lake St. Peter is a very small campground. Just lots to do. There's beautiful beaches. And if you're interested in the day trip to Algonquin, it's only about 25 minutes to the east gate of Algonquin. So perfect starting point for your day trip to, to Algonquin. Next, we're heading to Awenda Provincial Park. Uh, Awenda really impressed us last year. Um, so we're very excited to go back, do a little bit more exploring, and finally go back to beach number four. If you have to visit any beaches, it, it's a bit of a walk, but you know what, beach, specifically beach number four is our favorite. Next, we're heading to Killarney. Yes, this will be the second time this year. However, for several reasons, I wanted to go back. A, I wanted to explore the lakes there by kayak of course last time we were there all the lakes were frozen it's just a beautiful area to explore i definitely want to do the crack um in summer slash fall by the time we are there the trees should be starting to change and i'm really looking forward to seeing the view in in the fall <laughs> and last but not least you know you cannot go to Killarney and not stop for fish and chips. So that's everything we booked so far. Uh, as mentioned, we are looking at some additional spots as well. We may go back to Grundy, Kale Bear. But again, if you have any suggestions, definitely let us know in the comments below. In addition to that, if you're looking for the top parks we visited in 2021, definitely check out this video and we'll see you in the next video.